In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a variable voltage divider. Then we're going to use an Arduino to measure the voltage and the battery capacity. Hi everyone. In a previous video, I showed you how you can divide the voltage of a power supply. In this case, our battery over here into two using two resistors. I will link that video in the description. But let me give you a quick overview here. So right now we have this battery which represents our power supply. And you can see if I measure across this resistor, I'm getting 5.3 volt. And if I measure across this resistor, I'm getting 2.65. The total will be the total which is the full battery uh, voltage, which is 7.95 here and depend on how charged they are. So this is a quick overview of what a voltage divider looks like. Now we're going to upgrade this and make it a variable. The way we do this is by using a potentiometer, or basically you can call it a variable resistor. So I'm going to replace one of the resistors. I'm going to pull this one out. And all I'm doing is I'm removing one resistor, and I'm going to plug in this potentiometer instead. So let me see if I can do this quickly so you can see what I'm doing. And basically, I'm just tabbing into this potentiometer. I'm using the first and the second leg. So the, the potentiometer, by the way, I do have a video explaining how this works. I will also try to find it and link it in the description. But if you measure across the two far legs, you always get the full capacity. But if you're measuring across one of the legs and the middle, then you get the variable. And then that's usually. Uh, split the other half between the other leg and the middle. So right now I'm just using this far leg and the middle leg. And I'm going to replace this with this other resistor over here. So I'm going to plug that in here. And now we should be able to measure the voltage and it should vary as we change the resistance. So let me start the measurement. And you can see here now I'm getting the full. Uh, seven, but if I change the potentiometer, you can see that the voltage is also changing as I change this. So now I'm going to use my Arduino voltage reader, which I do have a full video about. I will also link it in the description to read the battery voltage and estimate the capacity using that voltage. So based on the voltage, we're going to estimate the battery capacity. You do need to know your battery drained voltage and the full charge voltage for this to work accurately. The battery I'm using here is the 18650, and I'm using just a single battery or two in parallel, not in series. So the voltage is the 3.7. When it's fully charged, it's usually 4.2. When it's drained, it's like under three. So I'm going to change. The voltage here to demo this i'm going to use this variable voltage uh, power supply to demo this so you can see here as i increase the voltage my battery capacity shows higher and as i go up in the voltage it shows higher and higher and then when i'm above 4.2 it shows at 100 percent remember I did mention this in the previous video for the voltage reader. You cannot read voltage over 5 volt if you are using an Arduino. So you have to stay within that 5 volt range. Otherwise, you could risk damaging your Arduino. Now I'm going to lower the voltage. And you can see that at the same time, the battery capacity will drop. And when I go below 3, that's when it starts to read empty. So as you can see here, when I'm at 3, it's like 3%. And then here it is empty. Now let's review the code real quick. The first thing I want to say is please do not try to measure more than 5 volt using the Arduino. That can totally damage the Arduino. However, you can use a voltage divider and then account for that. Uh, the second piece I want to mention is I'm using the 18650 batteries. And that is the code is based on that. I have two connected in parallel, but it doesn't matter, honestly, even if you have four connected in parallel, that will still be the same. 
if you have some connected in series or if you're using different battery cells, you can make an adjustment. We'll talk about that in just a second. These are just the libraries. Right here is the display dimension. If you're using a different OLED size, make the adjustment as needed. Here's the display object really quick. And here is the analog pin that I'm using for the reading. I'm using a zero, but you can definitely use a different pin. Remember, A4 and A5 are being occupied by the OLED screen. So A0 is available. Um, this is the full voltage when the battery is fully charged. For my battery is 4.2. For yours might be different. You can make the adjustment as you see fit. Here's the empty voltage. For my battery, it is a three or under. It's considered fully empty. But again, you can make an adjustment here as you see fit. And if you're using a different battery, definitely consider make the adjustment over here. This is just for that bar. Honestly, you can ignore all this fancy bar if you want. And if you just want to display the number, that might be easier. Uh, I tried to keep this code uh, very consistent with the previous one, which is like the voltage reader. That's definitely much simplified version. If you want to start with that, then when you come to this, this will make a lot more sense. And again, if you want to ignore that bar, then you can totally simplify this code way more than uh, it is right now. This is just the serial monitor for troubleshooting if you need it. And then uh, right here, we're initializing our OLED and displaying a quick welcome message. Uh, by the way, if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments. Some people told me I need to go faster when I get to the code part. Some people said I need to go in more details. So which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make any adjustments. Uh, this is our loop function, and first we're doing the analog reading, and then here we're assuming that our Arduino is operating on a 5 volt. So, you know, the USB that goes to the Arduino is usually 5 volt. If it's not, make the adjustments here as uh, needed as well. This is just the capacity estimator. It's using that full voltage and, you know, the numbers that we entered here, the full voltage and the empty voltage to estimate the capacity based on the current reading of the voltage. So let's go down here. And this is just to fill the width of the battery bar. Again, the battery bar might complicate things. If you just want to display the number like and next to it, maybe a percent sign, that is definitely going to simplify the code a lot. So you can do that. Um, this is the uh, display, the voltage first, and then this is the bar that you see on the screen. And right here, we're showing the capacity. And then at the bottom here, I'm still displaying the raw value of the analog reading in case you want to use that for any troubleshooting. Uh, this is just here at the bottom. It's just a helper, helper function to uh, change a float value. So I will leave the code as always uh, in the uh, link in the description of the video. And that will you can copy and paste from my GitHub for free. This is it for this video. If you like it, please consider like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.